Hello everybody, I'm J.H. Luvik, sometimes known as the Meerkat Monarch, and today I'm gonna, sorry about the light though, turn it down a bit, there you go, that's better. Today I'm gonna do, um, book review of a book I thought would be really exciting. I was at a local bookstore, uh, which is uh, down in Oslo. My local fantasy bookstore, I should say. Uh, there's a closer one nearby. And I saw this book, and you can see the cover. It looks really interesting. It looks like someone's looking out from the bottom of a well and it looks really really interesting and four children disappear only one return and the first couple of 200 pages is very very good it's very well written and the author james brogdon seems to have a really he seems to have a very good knowledge he, he has he has a very good knowledge around celtic culture there's references to water there's references to um like peep mummies uh there's references to uh, ritual killing so the and and the the idea of bronze age culture um really seems to fascinate him and i think that the way that he does it is is uh, is really interesting it's it's uh, but <laughs> then something happens that perplexes me around 200 pages it takes a fucking nosedive like really really badly I don't understand what's happening because it, the first part of the book seems to be this folklore horror book, almost folklore thriller, I would say. And it goes off on a night, it, it, like, it goes off to, to really investigate this and go deep. And the, the main character, Nathan Brooks, even though he's highly unlikable i still find some sympathy with him he it's not just his fault even though the author seems to be this weird way it seems to have this weird way of of looking at it and it seems to be very much in the in the vein of 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 of, of trying to blame him for the entire the entire uh, story but for some odd reason and it's very weird that that he uses Nathan Brooks as as his main character because spoiler alert it's not him who resolves the entire thing it's very fucking odd and some of the men in the in the book seem to be very uh, either very tyrannical in the way that they behave like um the wife of his former lover susan wickers uh seems to be a tyrannical type of guy uh the um one of the kids that that disappeared uh seems to be a bit of a both of the guys among the kids who disappeared uh grow up to be pretty much assholes pretty much and also the main characters all of a sudden during 
during the middle of or during the middle of the the last 200 pages he turns out to be gay if, or it doesn't turn out to be gay but he has this broke back mountainish and there's even a reference to broke back mountain in the fucking book so yeah it's one of those cases where uh, it's one of those cases where I wish an author had kept to the original 200 pages and just written a hundred pages more because it's it's 400 pages so if you just kept to the first 200 pages and and kept to that kind of feel i would have really really loved it it's an m night Shyamalan mess that's the best way of describing it i think and um yeah word of warning don't buy this book if you want to read it get it from a library and read it don't be stupid like me and buy it from a library uh, buy it from a local bookstore and then find yourself regretting spending that much money when you could have bought a book which you knew you're gonna love so um this might end up being hidden away somewhere in my library anyways that was um, <laughs> my review of Eckless Children. And um, if you decide to read it, don't be surprised that you're going to be pissed off at the ending. So, that's that. If you like this video, please uh, comment, subscribe, like it, and um, let me know down in the comments if you have anything that you would like me to read or that you would like me to review. Anyways, have a nice day.